Well, winter has hit here. Well, not winter per se, fall. So, I've got a, two more days here in Tuella while things are taken care of with the Suburban. And I need to go shopping. so much nicer without a huge old crack running through the middle of your screen. now understand why I don't care for the snow <laughs> that was 20 this is only 20 minutes and it's a light storm so all right I know it seems beautiful when you're in front from one of those warmer climates but uh, it's a pain in the butt got some returns yesterday it was 55 degrees some old times even though it's only been about four or five months and talk about 
YouTube stuff. It's pretty simple to get to Sacramento from Tooele, Utah. You basically just have to get to Grantsville and hit I-80. Did my laundry, so I'm good on that for the three weeks. So, yeah, let's get some miles on these tires. So this here is the small, quaint town of Grantsville, Utah. It was basically established as a last stop before trying to cross into the uh, salt flats, the West Desert salt flats of Utah. This is where they used to water their horses. There's a, on the other side, over behind this Maverick here, uh, just a little ways is a stream. That's where they used to uh, refresh the horses, let them graze before they pushed on and tried to cross. Yeah, so right down here a little ways and to the right is a museum dedicated to the Donna Reed party. And when I say small and quaint, it is not as small and quaint as it once was some 23 years ago when I first moved out here. When I first moved out here, there was this guy in a beat up old ranch truck. And in his passenger seat, he had a black bear. Now, I always thought it was stuffed, you know, and it was just a gag, but no. He would have a bear in his, in his passenger seat. And it was, it used to always wave at people because people around here would toss it some snacks, some treats. I don't know what happened, what, I don't know whatever happened to him or that bear. get to the interstate you have to go through a neighborhood but at one time these were busy streets
Mountain, north of Battle Mountain, probably 20 miles. of room. In a quarter mile, turn left. Exit navigation. <laughs> okay, so we got benches here. First night, rest stop. <laughs> Wait, no way. Oh, crazy. So let's see if it actually works. Nope, that was sick. Kinda cool. Empty. All right, excuse me for a moment. Okay, tonight's first meal on the road is just gonna be simple. 
I'm gonna try to keep my promise of not eating at fast food um, for as long as I can. Like I said, I'm not a very good cook, but I guess I'm just gonna have to learn. Um, but tonight is really simple. I'm just having two Tina's uh, burritos. Okay, set my air fryer, 10 minutes. There we go. I know that's kind of a cop out, but at least I'm not eating fast food. It's a, it's going to be a daily struggle. I know it because I just have I have a lazy streak in me, and that's one of the biggest reasons why I never learned how to cook. I'm just too damn lazy. That's one of the things I want to I want to turn around um, with going on the road. So, but tomorrow. Tomorrow, I promise you, I'm going to make myself a very good meal, at least by my standards, right? And no, I'm not talking, you know, Lucky Charms or anything like that. Um, two eggs, some potatoes, some fried potatoes. So yeah, two eggs, uh, eight, two eggs, fried potatoes, and. Oh wait, no, no, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs, yeah, 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 yeah. So scrambled eggs with, <clears throat> scrambled eggs, potatoes with pepper jack cheese. Ooh. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for right now. I don't really have a meat selection unless I wanted to fry up bologna. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. I've got my laundry that needs to be folded up and put away and get this stuff done and I might as well edit this video and get it up. Oh yeah. Dinner is served. I know somebody in the comments is going to ask, why didn't you just fold up your laundry at the laundromat? And my answer to that is, did you see all that white stuff that was on the ground? Until the next one, see ya.